Hello and welcome to Outlaw Games. I'm Outlaw Terror and today we're on a kind of mechanic simulator. Now today I'll have a uh, half track lined up to fix. The... Right, now, this isn't an easy word for me to pronounce but I'm going to attempt it. But Sound of Quart Fanzug 251. Now this half track is commonly known as uh, a Hanamag, because that's who produced it. So, um, we're going to get this into our shop and uh, start fixing her up. I do like the old, I do like old half tracks. They are pretty cool. I remember when I was a kid, I had an Epix model of one. I was very interested in that. I think I might actually get back into Epix, you know, I do miss it. But anyway, we'll uh, move this back into the sh workshop. You notice I do have like a couple of tanks just scattered away in my workshop. And yeah, we'll get, we'll get some uh, scrap metal whilst we're here. Oh, 32 scrap, that's not bad. Now, scrap metals are turned out very useful in a bit, and I'll show you how. Now, it, uh, we don't do up this house track slightly different than how I've done the other ones. So, the first thing we don't need to do is, well, get rid of all of these parts which cannot be repaired. So we get rid of those. I think that's pretty much it. We shall, however, move our ends and block onto our stand. And just make sure we've got no more unfixable parts here. Yeah, yeah, but it's not only the chair which you can't fix up. Oh, and this steering wheel as well. And thing. Oh, and and the seat. Okay, so and and the locker. So yeah. So that's all the parts which can't be repaired. So what we'll do with them is we'll open up our storage. We are on the thunder from there. So these are all the parts we cannot repair ourselves. Right, so here we've got the list of stuff we cannot do repairs on ourselves. So what we'll do is we'll select all of those and we just start outsource the repairs. It's not going to cost much, it's like 217. Uh, that's not an issue. Uh, we have plenty of money up here. Well, we'll send them off to repair. And whilst they're getting repaired, we'll uh, start work on fixing this up. So, once again, we just get our rust removal and just start removing the rust. Oh, and of course, there's always, always one part which we can't do ourselves. So we'll just. Uh, Oh, they've already fixed it. And we just uh, send that off. Okay, so we have de rusted this bad boy, but we still need to sand it. So we'll get on with that. Oh, we just sand away. It shouldn't take too long. There's, there's not that many parts on this tank. Oh, now, this half track I got from uh, my yard, basically. It was just in the back. I didn't dig this one up. Yeah, it was just just sitting there, and so I thought I'd get it. It cost like like a few hundred bucks, so I can't really argue with that. Uh, yes, there we go. That's looking better already. Okay, there we go. We just had to do the centre console, and that's that done. Oh. This hand wheel, I've I missed out on my de-rusting. Not an issue. Literally, fit the best thing I purchased on the upgrade menu was the tool belt. I am so grateful for it. And anyway, we just uh, sand this engine block. Now you'd probably wonder, it's like, where I'm gonna get all the missing parts from? Well, I'm going to craft them. Yeah, 
we got we got our crafting bench and you know we might as well use it and we can craft all sorts of things on there but of course we don't need the blueprint so we'll just see how much that will cost us it shouldn't be that expensive i think they're one of the cheaper ones so anyway we go down to the old half track buy the buy the blueprints 350 grand that's not too bad we can make that real quick I'll, I'll show you the little trick i use to make money well before we get on to actually crafting the painted paint all we got so far anyway then i'll paint it up by the way if you're if you're new to my channel or if you only came on the last couple of videos uh welcome and uh and if you have subscribed thank you very much it's very much appreciated and if you haven't subscribed why didn't you consider it uh, I've been informed I should ask people to subscribe so here I am obviously if you don't want to that, that's cool if you're just passing through I hope you have a good day and you find what you're looking for there we say we got the primer down on that so we'll just flip onto our actual paint and you can see where we're starting to go with it and this is a sort of like a nice gunmetal grey pretty pleasant let me just paint all these little parts here but these are normally the parts as i miss uh, with the way it's, i tend to make these tanks with buying all rusty parts and putting it all together then cleaning it all up i tend to miss like the littlest bits and it you get quite annoying when you're sitting on 99% so this way I'm less likely to get those annoying little bits and uh, we just have to paint the inside after falling off the steps look at that it's, it's looking, looking nice already just a little bit on there Okay, and what I think we'll do, um, because if we go into our storage, we, we've had all our parts coming back from, from the repairs we sent them to, so we'll just uh, chuck all these back on as well. We've got the assistant seat, and the fuel canisters, and oh, door. oh and the uh, locker door, the seat, and steering wheel. There we go. There's our locker door. And there's our steering wheel. Now we can actually drive this somewhat. And also it was a seat. Yeah, let's put let's put the seat here. What have we got? It it's starting to look like it's fresh up the shop already. Right. I like that. I like that a lot. But anyway. We are going to need to get some parts for this. So we'll just start and seeing what we actually need. It's going to be quite a lot. So we we'll just I like personally I like starting with the engine. It's a nice easy thing to get get on the go. So you know might know my trick if you watch my other tank mechanics in later games, but so what I do is I take a picture of what I need and go over and make it. I uh, just noticed my camera is a little bit over over the information. I'll just uh, move it a little bit. There we go. So now you can, you guys can see what I see. And okay, doke. So we better go over to our craft craft there. We shall go over to our crafting bench. Now we're not making K two K V two parts. We're making half track parts, and we're. We're working on the engine. So we just pull up our list of what we need. And all the parts here. New water pump. Cool. Yeah, this might make it a little bit easier on myself. So we're just getting the engine parts. A water manifold. I've probably gone past it several times. There's the water manifold. We need a pulley. And it's right there. An oil pan breather. And there that is. We need a 
oil filter and an oil container. That's them. Need an engine head and a fuel pump hose. Da -da -da. Well, there's fuel pump hose and there's the engine header. And don't need a, a flywheel. Uh, it is, should be located somewhere around there it is. And what else do we need? We need an exhaust pipe. Now there's, there's a couple of different types of exhaust pipes. And so I'm going to take a guess that it's going to be this one. Now I might be mistaken, we might have to come back. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. An electro starter, a connecting hose, it's right there, a cap, and two V belts. Mm. Now there's three different types of V belts. Uh, trying to remember which one I sent off to. Pairs. I think it was that one, so I'll take one of those and I'll take one of those. And hopefully, they're the correct parts. So, they're crafty elements. So, they cost us 155 crafting parts. So, we've got plenty of crafting parts. So, we'll craft them up. We accept that. Now, say you didn't have many crafting parts and you needed to get some. Once you've done enough parts and get your research all the way to the top on your crafting so uh, say if I craft this evacuation hat it'll cost 20 crafting parts to make so we'll craft that up accept and 20 parts have gone out now if I go into my storage and select it I could sell this so that's a way to I make money but to get the crafting parts, we just recycle it. Now it says we'll earn 20, and it costs us 10 gold, but we do that, we actually go up 40. So we've doubled our crafting parts. And that's what I use to get all my crafting parts and do basically farm money. It, it's a bit slack, I know, but you know, I worked hard getting all these upgrades. And it's that one you want where you get 100% extra crafting parts. So that's what you want to look out for. Otherwise, you'd have to scrap parts off tanks or go looking around in um, your yard at all the trust piles for scrap parts. Yeah, I mean, you can do that, but it's so much easier crafting like 20 parts or something than recycling them and getting double the scrap parts, you know. It's not like an instant thing. You have to put effort into the game to unlock all these upgrades. So, hopefully we've got all the parts we need to make our engine. So we'll just jump in and just start whacking them on. And the great thing about being crafted, they're already the perfect condition. You know, we don't make mediocre things. And yeah, it looks like I did get the right V-belt. So that's lucky. Put on the electric starter, the oil breather, the fuel pump hose, uh, the oil filter. It's coming around quite nicely. This, I don't know, we've got a screw bolt in. It's always good, nice and safe. You know, you don't want to just plonk parts on and not screw them down. We can put on our V belts. And our connecting hose. And that's it, that's our engine 100% completed. So that's the engine done. And we'll start work on, uh, we'll start work on the actual uh, thing. Uh, so we do, the, um, probably best to start with, let's go with the gearbox seems pretty important. So we basically, we've got no gearbox at all on this tank, so we just need a bit of everything. So we just run over and make one of everything. It should be easy enough, we don't need to take pictures for that. 
If anyone ever looks through my uh, camera roll on my phone, you just see a bunch of pictures of tank parts needed. And they'd probably be like, mm, what, what is this person doing? So it's a cover flywheel. Yeah, transmission main housing and there's two transmissions they wanted, I do believe. So we'll just craft those up for 61. And we'll start putting this in. Now, take it and I'll have to open that up. And we'll see where we. Put the fly reel in, the cover, the gearbox, main body. Transmission. There we go. And that should be all the parts for our gearbox. Yeah, so our gearbox is full, and uh, I think the next one shall be our fuel system where we need everything but the fans. So that's easy enough. So we just craft everything up apart from the fans. So buying just the carcass is a lot easier in aspects because there's no loads of parts. You're just basically making everything. And the great thing is, because I own the blueprint now, if I get another one of these, I can do exactly the same again and basically not spend any money on it. I could turn massive profits that way. I mean, I could just make profits by just becoming a part dealership but where's the fun in that okay so i think we just need to put on the radiator cap and that be our fuel system and there she goes so we got a fully fixed engine we got our fuel in and we got our gearbox so What's the next thing we need to be able to drive this? Well, the answer would be wheels. Yes. So we're going to get some wheels out. And yeah, we need quite a few items here and quite the same of the same items. So I'm just uh, take some pictures just for the ease of me remembering how many I actually need. Oh, it's back off to the crafting vents. wheels oh it looks like we got put on the tire as well which is uh, quite interesting there we got a tire suspension okay there that's the cost 420 scrap points we 420 so we are burning through our scrap metal which we have so I might have to do a bit of farming in a second just to get it back up because I don't know if we don't have enough to finish. Um, also, I think before I want to fit the wheels, I want to get these torsion bars in. So, there we go, chuck that on. So we can chuck on the brackets. So sometimes you've got to craft other parts so you can actually put stuff on and with the chuck these torsion bars in so we can fit on our suspension like so put on our idler wheel suspension 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 put on a rim and we'll put on a tyre oh look we're starting to get there already that needs a narrow Needs a wide. No. Wide. You can see where this is going. They all sort of interlock into each other. So it's great for keeping the track on. So you can go across all terrain. And we'll put a nice rocket wheel, which is to power the whole thing. Now we don't have the tracks just yet. We'll sort that out in a jiffy. Okay, so. We don't need some more scrap metal, it seems. I didn't quite have enough. I thought I got quite a few, but we'll get some more. So, we see here, irons and covers like the most expensive parts to produce. It's 40 parts. So what we'll do, we'll just 
get 10 of those. Accept that. And we'll get another 10 because we can't afford it. Now we'll craft that. So we we had 900. So we'll go into our storage. Select all. Recycle. Continue. And we got the 1700. So, yeah. It's easy enough to scra get scrap. We'll just do that again. And we'll definitely have enough then. So, we're going to craft as much as we can. I mean, I don't know how long this is going to be in the game for. They, they have made changes. Um, originally, every part was only three parts to make. So you couldn't really do the scrap part challenge. This, I think you could and it was even more powerful because it only costs you three, but you get like 10 in turn. But you, you can't farm as much money as you would. You, you know, that would have cost you three parts and you would have sold that for... I uh, don't know how much it actually cost to sell. If I was to like go into my story, yeah, I would have sold that for a thousand. So I could have sold all this for about 40 grand and not cost parts. But you know, we're going to select all and we're going to recycle. And there we go, we've got 3,000 parts. So that should be more than enough. More than enough parts we need to finish off our little project here. So we don't need some tracks, so we need front, rear, front, rear, and four track belts. We'll craft these up, and we'll just slap them on. Then this would truly be a half track. At the moment, it's a no track, and we can't be having that now. There it is, and we'll bolt that into nothing. That sort of annoys me. I, I wish it would wait till you put these ones on so you can bolt it in. But, you know, that's just the way it is. See if when we do this one, we'll bolt it in place. That makes sense. But that's just my preference. So, yeah, so that's that side done. I'll just do the same on the other. And there we go. It, it's got tracks. It looks like an actual functioning vehicle oh, there it is look there's the engine that's looking pretty snazzy oh, in theory this could run I don't think you can run it because it's got too many missing parts but it's got an engine it's got a gearbox it's got fuel it's got the wheels and the half track it's basically done it's 72% repaired so Let's work on the interior, I think. That'll be our next port call. Then, then we'll just do the outside, the exterior. That's like the finishing touches, a little decoration. And a driver's seat. And it's going to cost us 103, which isn't too bad. As you can see, we don't have to worry about scrap here. We can just get it out of thin air. We're just that magical. Right, so we just uh, chuck... Chuck our lot box on, our seat, our other, our other seat, seat. I think that's classed as the exterior. Driver's seat and and our viewer. And there we go. I do believe that is that is our interior done so you can see it it's really come together now yeah it's not a bad little machine now I do believe this had around about a hundred horsepower I may be mistaken and I do believe the top speed was around about 32 miles an hour which I think is roughly equates to about 50 kilometers an hour there thereabouts so, you know, definitely not the fastest thing, but it was armoured. It, it was the safest way to travel. It was, uh, is it Panzer Grandiers or something like that? <laughs> Basically, the support troops to the Panzer Division, they travelled in these bad boys. Um, they used a lot in the 
African campaign, I want to say. You could just imagine that one just barring through the sand dunes and stuff. It looked pretty badass. Oh, yeah. I got so caught up there, I forgot to see why I actually need to craft for my exterior. Oh, it's uh, quite a lot. Quite a lot. So I do believe I've crafted everything up, which that costs 272. That's not bad at all. So, just uh, chuck all our parts on. Litty split. So, yeah, this is a. It is a lot faster, I do find, because you're not processing, as I say, so many parts. You know, I mean, the thing is, about like these tools and stuff, you'd have to get them new or send them off to uh, outsource repairs because, you know, you can't work on them yourself. So yeah, there we go. It's starting to come together now. It's just, as I say, it's just all the little tiny, tiny little details. <laughs> you can just imagine that, like, coming full speed into battle. Do a sick, like, turn where it gets his ass out. And then it's like the doors go and you just storm out like your mp 40s blazing you know what i mean but anyway we've got to chuck all this stuff back on well i don't mean back on because it was never on to begin with but we'll chuck on all the stuff we've crafted and then i do believe it's ready to go into the paint room there is technically a turret it's just a back shelf back turret mg turret base and a cover yeah that's not a big deal, we'll just quickly go craft that up. I was getting a bit concerned now, I thought I'd missed a part on my pictures, but no. There is turret. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. 41 parts, this bass boss. There we go, we just uh, chuck this on. I keep pressing the crouch button to sprint. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently, so that is why. If you just see me just start ducking, I'm trying to run. Okay. Cover. Now we we'll go to a museum. I do believe I got some machine guns I could put on here. Let me check on our back self, and uh, I don't need to go on this one as well. But yeah, there we go. It is completed. A hundred percent, all the way through. We got no annoying ninety nines. I oh, will just uh, go check this in the paint room. <laughs> Always open the door into my face. So let's let's see what what colours are we? I'm feeling. The, there's one thing I don't like. Like the colours are very bright and in your face. Oh yes, so uh, there we go. Now that is looking like a classy vehicle. And I love. I always get my hand out when I get out this thing, but yeah, so we don't need to fuel it up. Quick thing, just uh, fire it up, make sure it all works. You know, gotta check the work. So, turn on the engine, I do believe it gets started up the front here. There it goes, turn it up. Ooh, that's a bit loud. Now the one thing about this game, the engines, the engines are very loud. There. Open that, and we'll get in. Close the doors. Open up the view so we can actually see where we're going. Oh, here we go. Now, will it be able to come up the hill? Yeah, it's not easy driving in this first person, let me tell you that. Oh, I don't think it's got the torque. Yeah, it it's not making it. But you can really see that suspense in action. Oh, look at it. 
This is the thing I love the most about this game is seeing the tanks roll and the actual animation they put into the suspension. It is real something else. That's a nut coming towards you. Oh, I'm really trying up suspense in there. Anyway. Shut that off. I can actually hear myself. It's still got the thing where it continues driving, even with the engine off. I do love that bug. Here we get some silent driving. Just say the engine is actually off. But yes. Well, I can serve more off without getting deafened. Oh, nearly crashed it into the thing. I wasn't watching when I was driving. But yeah, that's, that's this is that vehicle. All right. We're going to go into our museum and I'll see if I can put some uh, machine gun turrets on it. Because I'll look badass. The Sandokraft of Bungenzug. Commonly known as Panzer IV, was a German medium tank developed in the late 1930s and used extensively during the Second World War. Its audience infantry des designation was STKFZ-161. The Panzer IV was the most numerous German tank and the, and the second most numerous German armoured fighting vehicle of the Second World War, with some of 8,500 built. The Panzer IV Sassi was used as a base for many other fighting vehicles, including the Stromjeskutz for assault gun, the Jagdid Panzer for tank destroyer, the Wurbauwind self propelled anti aircraft gun, and the Brommerder self propelled gun. Now, I must apologize for anyone who actually knows German and uh, my murdering of the German language there I I don't have uh, the capability <laughs> to pronounce oh we've got a, got a little thing on the back as well uh, there are four main model modifications uh, A through D which formed the basis of at least 22 variants the initial idea was for a vehicle that could be used to transport a single squad of 10 Panzer Grenadiers to the battlefield protected with, from enemy small firearms and with some protection from artillery fire. In addition, the standard mountain of at least one MG-34 or MG-42 machine gun allowed the vehicle to provide suppressive fire for the rifle, for the rifle squad, both well they dismounted and in combat. The armour plates were designed to provide protection against standard rifle machine gun bullets like the 7.92x 57mm Mauser bullet. Ah, nice little picture there. I think we've got, got it pretty spot on. I might put the, the iron cross in a slightly wrong place. But So we have completed our half track and as you can see it looks very nice. At some point I will be trying to get the machine guns on. I haven't quite figured that one out. Um, if you know how to, please leave a comment, explain it to me, and I'll do that. But I want to thank you very much for watching. So that does it for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Now, you may have noticed over the past week, I've been putting out a lot more videos. Well, the truth is, is I had a week off work, and I go back tomorrow, which I'm sort of upset about, but can't be helped so we'd be going back to like one video a week i will try to do more i will but if you do like it please leave a like leave your support leave a comment subscribe if you like and i will hopefully see you on the flip side and i'll see you in the next video and uh goodbye and uh we'll see you next week you know stay safe out there as well